my name is Anna and I'm here with Sam from Liquid Gold Concept and today we're going to talk about the different features on our Essential and Advanced Lactation Simulation Models or LSMs. I have Sam here wearing the Essential LSM in the light B color uh, and I wanted to demonstrate why all these features are so important. So on the Essential LSM we have a round nipple and a slanted nipple. These nipples are really great for teaching your learners about the different kinds of latches. A round nipple is a latch that you're gonna get if the baby had a deep uh, and correct latch. A slanted nipple is what you're going to see if the baby was chewing just on the nipple and having a shallow latch. We really wanted to represent these kind of common features um, in our basics of breastfeeding LSM, the essential. The other features that we have are early stage mastitis. You can see the reddening of the tissue here. And then of course we have uh, a little fissure on the nipple and that is really to demonstrate the severity of the um, shallow latch. We don't have a bleeding nipple here yet, but it's something that may have occurred in the past due to the mastitis or it's something that could get worse in the future. So you can really tailor your cases to what you want your learners to, to learn. The other features of the LSM are engorgement. So Sam can show us how to do that. You basically pump up the, the breast and you can see already as she's pumping it, it's getting a lot more engorged and veiny. You can do that with just one, one of the breasts to show oversupply. You can do that with both simultaneously to do a case for a postpartum mom, day three to five. Uh, and then of course you can practice hand expression on an engorged LSM or on a non-engorged LSM. And we've already shown you some really great opportunities for flange sizing and breast pump use. All of our LSMs are compatible with um, electric and manual breast pumps. Beyond that, um, inside the LSM, you can actually feel some plug ducts. We have some um, sub areolar plug ducts that you can feel, and then the tail of spence, we have another plug duct. So this essential LSM uh, is really ideal for the basics of breastfeeding training if you have patients who are ready to deliver their babies uh, or if you have um, kind of community health uh, workers or beginning nursing students or medical students to really get them to feel comfortable with the basics of breastfeeding, latch and hand expression. Now we're gonna move on to the advanced LSM. So we just talked about the essential LSM and uh, we discussed some of the basics of breastfeeding features and pathologies. What I really like about our advanced LSM is that it can teach all of your learners the basics of breastfeeding and then beyond that, there are some advanced features that are great for the practitioners that work with mothers and babies day in and day out. So here we have Sam again wearing our LSM. Thank you, Sam. Uh, this is the light B color. And you can notice immediately that the nipples are very different from the essential. Uh, on the left, we have a flat or inverted nipple. It's up to you uh, to choose your own adventure with the case and how you want your learners to um, discuss inverted nipple or flat nipple management. On the right, we have a bulbous nipple or elongated nipple. And this is really great for um, talking through what to do with a preemie baby uh, who has a very small mouth and maybe isn't getting a very deep latch. On the bulbous nipple, you'll also notice that we have a milk bleb. Um, this is really uh, great for practitioners who are uh, learning how to counsel moms on different kinds of pathologies of the nipple. Uh, a milk bleb uh, is a fairly common condition that a lot of moms will experience. Beyond that, uh, on our uh, right breast, we have a periareolar and anchor incision scar. Um, and that's a really um, important part of the advanced LSM training. We really want all of our providers to learn how to do a comprehensive breast exam. And that involves looking at the, uh, both breasts simultaneously and underneath the breast tissue. When you do that on the left LSM, you'll notice that we have an incision scar there as well. So keep in mind that um, your learners will have to be very careful when they're examining the LSM to ensure that they can then counsel the patients appropriately depending on what pathology they find. And then finally, you're probably uh, noticing this uh, pretty aggressive abscess that this LSM has on the left breast. Um, and this is really important to talk um, about uh, kind of the next steps of management beyond just mastitis and antibiotics. What do you do when a mom has an abscess? What, is the, what are the next steps in counseling and the strategy to make sure that um, her breast tissue can heal correctly? Uh, another really interesting feature of the advanced LSM 
is this ectopic breast tissue. Uh, for your learners, it will be really important to talk about um, how to manage ectopic tissue, how common it is, and then whether or not it has a punctum, nipple, or areola on it. On our LSM, we chose not to put in um, a lactation circuit into the ectopic tissue, but you can definitely develop a case scenario where you can ask your students, uh, what's happening with this ectopic tissue? Is there gonna be milk forming in here? Um, and how do you treat it? Beyond that, just like with the essential LSM, we have plug ducts on both sides. On the right breast, we have kind of subareolar and inframammary plug ducts. And on the left, we have a plug duct in the tail of Spence. Uh, just like with the essential, we think it's really important that all of our LSMs are able to engorge either bilaterally or unilaterally, and Sam is going to demonstrate that on the right um, right now by turning the uh, knob uh, clockwise all the way to the right until it stops, and then um, just compressing the bulb until the LSM engorges to what is physiologically normal. So uh, with this LSM, just like with the Essential, you can also practice hand expression and breast pump attachment. What's really exciting is that if you have both of our models, the Essential and the Advanced, you can actually practice um, flange sizing for four different kinds of nipples and develop really unique case scenarios uh, with um, both of our LSMs that could work for nursing students, medical students, practicing physicians, lactation consultants, and of course, mothers and fathers. Thank you so much.